Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Jerry from Skookum Milling and Woodworks. And uh, today on the tractor, we're still on the case tractor project, although we're getting closer all the time. Today is the beginning of wiring day. Okay, so as you're aware, this tractor was stripped down and I've uh, most of the chassis has been all rebuilt. The engine's been completely re rebuilt and reinstalled. Um, and the wiring was just fragile and had been patched together. Some of it was original, um, some of it was not, most of it was not. And too many scotch locks and too many open connections. And I just said, the heck with it. We're just going to start from scratch. So I stripped everything out and just threw it away to force myself into it. So today we're going to start on the rebuilding. Um, so I'll show you here what exactly we've got. So this is the instrument cluster. I've shown you this before, but um, anyway. So we're fortunate to have the original instrument cluster, but none of it works, and, uh, and I'm not even gonna attempt. So what we did do was picked up some gauges and put them in. Um, I've got a new fuel gauge and a new sending unit in the tank. I've got an amp gauge, which I may change out to a voltmeter instead. Um, I've got engine temp, and oil pressure. The only thing that doesn't show in there that I am gonna add is I I am gonna add an hour meter, but I'm gonna put that down on the engine cowl instead. There's no place to mount it here on this panel. Um, so I'm just gonna use a, a regular bracket and uh, bolt it up on the engine, in, in the engine cowl somewhere. Um, I do have a voltmeter in case I change my mind. And, and I think I am gonna go with that actually we've got um so back to the the factory stuff or the stuff that was on the tractor when i got it uh we still have the factory key the factory light switch that all works um we've got the master on off switch which disconnects all battery power from everything so we don't have to worry about any drains we've got uh, on the temperature gauge of course we've got the probe that goes here the oil pressure gauge Right here, we'll have new line. I've got the the uh, plastic kit that came with it, but I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go to copper and run a new line. So we've got that in here, and uh, everything will be lighted as you can see. Um, so we're gonna do some bench work here, um, getting this all buttoned up as far as I can, and have the leads hanging off it, so that we can then just go out to the tractor, start routing leads. Some of the so I've got wire set out here. We've got some 10 gauge for the heavy stuff, and also uh, in red and black, we've got red, green, and yellow to use for all the other things. We do have a fuse panel here that I bought that I'm going to put on. Um, this is an ignition switch that I did buy, but I'm going to reuse the original one instead. Got the headlights. Um, and the trim rings. I'm going to change these over to LED though. So I got to order some LED equivalent for these. What are they? 4411s or something? Yeah, 4411s. So I'll get some LED equivalent to mount in there. Got a little LED um, light to go in the dash to help us with um, uh, uh, alternator charging to trick the alternator into charging at lower RPMs. Um, we've got the original. Uh, well, not original, but the ones that were on um, battery cables. Those are the positive cables. This is the ground strap. So we'll be putting all of those on. This is the uh, fuel injection pump shutoff cable, which I can't put on the tractor until I, because it goes right here in the dash. And so I've got to wait to put the dash on and then I'll put that on and route it down to the injection pump. And so, yeah, we've got a lot of stuff to deal with here. Um, first thing first, I'm going to make sure all these gauges are good and secure in the, in the, um, dash itself. Then we'll start the wiring of the, for the lighting of the gauges. I got a little 12 volt garden tractor battery I'm going to bring over and set up here just to assist us in all of that. And, um, yeah, we'll start getting this thing, uh, wired up so that we can get it fired up which will be very exciting so so yeah so stick with us here and uh we'll uh, do some bench work i've got a wiring diagram that i have to go back over i in an earlier post i i showed you how i was going to wire it then uh, tractor man 44 
um, who's been who's guided me along on several things uh, he's got a similar tractor but he works on a lot of tractors um, and he's the one that i originally picked up this uh, wiring schematic from then i kind of drew my own and then he pointed out to me he watched the video he pointed out to me i think i have a mistake in it i gotta go back and look at his comment um, i think it has to do with that led light that we're going to use to help us trick the alternator into charging because remember these came with a generator originally that's long gone, voltage reg regulators all long gone. So it's had an alternator on it this whole time. We're gonna utilize that system, but there's a couple of tricks that you gotta do to make those alternators work properly on these uh, on these old tractors that turn at such low RPM. So stick with us and we'll, uh, we'll get this thing going. All right, well, we've got the dash pretty well wired up here. So let's see, let's get this out of the way. We know where that goes. It's just mechanical temperature gauge. But we've got all of the gauges now. Um, all the lights wired together. Okay, so, and then they come over to the, uh, the uh, headlight switch. So if you turn the headlights on, gauges will illuminate. Um, and then of course, the uh, headlight wires go on out from there. I don't know whether I'll run that through the fuse panel. I probably will. I'll probably drop this down to the fuse panel, then run a circuit out to the headlights for the lights. We've got the ignition switch all wired up here. Um, we will have, this is some 10 gauge wire. This will be uh, power from the positive battery cable up here. Then we've got the um, uh, various lines, one coming off here to go to the light switch on the uh, ignition, on the on side of the ignition switch. And then the others, uh, let's see, the other one runs to, um, now the other switch runs to the uh, fuel sending, or the fuel gauge for the fuel sending unit. Um, then we've got the wires that come off this will uh got everything this will go down to the neutral safety switch and then on to the solenoid on the starter um, this one is going down to just plainly power the fuse panel um, and that will only be hot when the uh, ignition switch is in the on position um, yeah, so I think that's about it. The only thing left is well, we've got a couple wires here to wire up. This will go to so the fuel sending unit. This is the voltmeter. I don't know. This says battery negative. I didn't know if I could just tie that into the ground. I kind of feel like I can't, but I don't know why. Negative's negative, so I think that's probably okay. I guess we'll find out. Um, and then this is my little LED light. To excite the alternator and so this just has to go to the I'll attach a wire to this it'll run over to the number one terminal on the um, alternator and uh, so the only thing left it would be to hang the battery cables onto the master disconnect switch um, and I've got those as I said uh, so we're in pretty good shape here I guess we'll be moving on to the tractor next I'm gonna go hang this on the tractor and start running wires from there so we're not far away this is pretty straight up pretty straightforward um i think we're in pretty good shape here so yeah um pretty good start today getting all this done gotta just put the ignition switch back in the panel it was just easier to work on it out here on the bench so um everything's all properly soldered all the connections are soldered heat shrinked Got a few tie straps around them. I'll probably tie them up a little bit better once I get everything in position and uh, get the get the dash bolted onto the tractor so I know where everything's gonna sit properly. And yeah, so we're getting closer. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is a little prep work here. Um, gotta get the battery tray back in here. That goes right down here. I gotta remove these for um uh shuttle box bolts and then the tray uh, here it sits right back down there and then those just bolt right back down to hold it on 
I never have, this didn't have a battery hold down on it, but I'm sure it just took some simple setup, a couple of J bolts probably, and a piece of strap, which is what I'm gonna probably engineer. Um, once I get this all back together, then I'll put that on. I want to put the biggest battery I can in it. Um, although there's not a lot of clearance here, so it probably won't be too big. So we got to get that on there. Then I think I'm going to mount... Well, no, I'm probably not going to do that. I was thinking about mounting the fuse panel right here, but the battery would be in the way. So the fuse panel is going to go on the other side, back up in there. So let's get this tray on first, and then we'll... Uh, deal with the fuse panel. You guys can hear that, but my neighbor has a yard crew. <laughs> I just been cleaning in there. Speaking of fish, already together. It's hard, so I don't know what you're saying, but nice guys. I'm sure everything's funny. All right, got our copper line plumbed in. And I'll just leave it hanging below, just like all this other stuff. And uh, then once it's once the dash is on, then we can figure out how to route everything and where we're going to pull the other wires back up from and that sort of thing. So, okay, so I think it's about time to set this back on the tractor after eight months or something. So we'll get that done.
pretty good. Got everything here. Ignition switch, I had to kind of rig up a bezel to work. There's a couple of big old washers, but that's all right. If I ever decide to replace it, I'll just it'll be set. So, um, light switch, all of that. Yeah, looks pretty good. Kind of cool. Still got the old, I don't know if you can see that or not, but still got the old Eagle, Case Eagle emblem in the center there. So that's why I wanted to save that. I could have just put a piece of metal over it or something, but no harm in having it in there like that. Even though we got all these aftermarket gauges telling us what's going on. So, all right, now it's time to start figuring out some wiring and some routing. So we'll work on that a little. Okay, now, gotta figure out the best way to run this hard line, the low pressure sender. Figure out the best way to route it here. We go up and over the column and then down this side you can see I don't know if you can see in there but there's a little trough underneath the fuel tank where the throttle shut off of uh, injection pump shut off cable routes I guess I'll run it through there and then so it'll come right along the bottom of the fuel tank come out here and i can just drop it down and run it because it goes right down here at the bottom of, right behind the fuel filter there so run it something like that Let's see if we can get it in there okay oil line is run now we'll see about getting this temp sender some of this bulky stuff out of the way so it's got to run down this side and it just goes right to here so that's not a long trip um so we'll just figure out a way to pull it through there there is a little trough that bolts right here there's another stud back there further and this is a little piece of conduit to run wiring through. I'm not sure why it had that, but I guess probably the bulk of the wiring comes down this side of the motor. So, um, so we'll use that, but I don't think we need to run that, that temp sender line down through it. I think we can just tie it off to a few things and with tie straps and just put it right in there. So we'll get that out from under the dash. So we got a little more room to work. Okay, back on the tractor. So I got most of the wiring run. It's all kind of loosely looped in here. I've still got to tighten everything up and uh, get it all kind of loomed up. But I got most of it run. Dash is all on. And uh, like I say, I got stuff hanging everywhere. So I got to put the battery down in the tray there. Um, but right now I've got to, I still have, I got to hook up the power steering lines right down there um got a couple of hydraulic hoses right over here that i need to put back on here and i completely forgot i i wanted to change this uh hydraulic filter now i've never even had that off so i'm gonna take that off and try not to make a mess and see if i can get that changed out and then uh top everything back off with uh hydraulic fluid um but i think the wiring is ready um i think i'm wired up so um that'll be interesting um had to take a break uh and work on some other a couple other tractor projects my grandson's little yard tractor here um threw the drive pulley off for some reason i guess that screw came loose so i had to pull that off and Get, and put it back on correctly and put some loctite on there to hold it and then my granddaughter's gator 
um, needed a new battery so we got that charging up too so oh yeah it'll be tractor heaven around here this afternoon so um yeah so we'll uh, get some of these lines hooked up and and we'll see uh where we end up today okay so we're really getting closer you can see we're on to we put fluids in today uh, so we gotta do the hydraulic i got the wrong hydraulic filter so i'm waiting for that to come in um wiring is all done the dash is all complete everything's put together we're all connected up all the gauges work i'm questioning the fuel gauge which i knew that was going to be iffy putting that aftermarket universal sending unit in that tank i'm just not sure if that's even going to work but oh well um yeah so i've added all the fluids engine is all wired you can see we've got our alternator all wired up here for charging um everything is done so as soon as i get that hydraulic filter that will go right in here um what i got was pretty close to the right one but not quite it had an opening at both ends and the one that was in here was closed off at one end so went ahead and ordered that one got our headlights put in um hydraulic hoses are all hooked back up steering's all hooked back up and new cotter pins and everything and everything yeah we're, we're close tomorrow's going to be the day i think where we try to fire this son of a gun up and uh hope everything works i put fuel in it and uh it and opened the bleeder on the um secondary fuel filter and i've got um you can see i've got diesel coming out of there so i um, so i think we're good there so based on that we've got we should have fuel to the injection pump um i am short i'm waiting on a new in uh injector pump shutoff cable the original one i put it in it was all whole i put it in the dash and i went to pull on it and it snapped off <laughs> right at the dash so i got a new one coming i'll get that put in um i don't know if that'll make it tomorrow or not but i can i can do that by hand um because i you know wants just to fire it up so yeah we're really close here tomorrow might be the day after all this time so keep your fingers crossed